It's all around us, stretching millions of miles in every direction, a mysterious and hostile environment. It captures our attention and stimulates our imagination. It's a place where explorers and scientists lead the way, discovering new ways of living, working, and surviving in the most extreme of conditions. In space, we see people stretching the limits of life. Yet when it comes right down to it, what's being learned way up there has a direct connection to how we live down here. OK, Houston, uh, we've had a problem here. This is Houston. Say again, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Here is a bulletin from ABC News. The Apollo 13 spacecraft has had a serious power supply malfunction that could cause the lunar landing mission to be terminated early. Were you looking at instrumentation? Have we got a real problem or what? Flight, I, I've got a feeling we've lost two fuel cells. I hate to put it that way, but uh, I, I don't know why we've lost them. At the moment, the astronauts are continuing to try to isolate their trouble. A late report says the spacecraft now is operating on battery power alone. All unnecessary equipment is being turned off. Hello, I'm Gene Kranz. In my 34-year career with NASA, I've worked on over 100 space missions. However, people most often ask me today about my experience as lead flight director during the Apollo 13 space mission. Roger that, rolling right. Zero, that spacecraft six, suddenly zero. lost all electrical power. We faced an immediate life-critical energy emergency, which threatened the lives of all the crew members on board. The Apollo 13 astronauts and our team here in Houston Mission Control we're in a race against the clock to bring the three astronauts hey, we've got a problem here. safely back to Earth. Hey. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. All of our expertise depended upon managing the very limited amount of available energy to bring the crew back home. There's another master alarm. After we performed the get home fast maneuver, we powered down to a level similar to what it takes to run a coffee pot. It's true. The lives of three astronauts on Apollo 13 depended on energy conservation. Hello, I'm Pam Melroy. In my career as a NASA astronaut, I've lived in space for over 38 days, working on the International Space Station. What scientists and engineers are learning through space exploration leads to the important discoveries that make our quality of life at home more comfortable for everyone. I'm standing in front of the next generation of NASA spaceships, the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle. This capsule has the latest technologies to keep astronauts safe and comfortable in space. And what's really fascinating is how far we've come in being able to apply those technologies into our lives here on Earth. So let's find out how we can make a difference in managing our energy resources. After all, astronauts in space need the same things we do here on Earth. So come on board and let's go on an eye-opening ride. Lift off on a 21st century mission placing Earth back on the map. In space, astronauts must be protected from extreme temperatures because they no longer have the protection of the Earth's atmosphere. In direct sunlight, the space station bakes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. But when it's out of direct sunlight, on the other side of the Earth, it can also freeze at minus 250 degrees. You know how hot you feel when it's just over 100 degrees on Earth? Or how cold you feel when it's below zero? That's one of the big things we share in common, how to stay comfortable in our very different living environments. Check it out. The heat generated by all of this equipment inside a spacecraft, combined with excellent insulation, is enough to keep us warm when we're away from the sun's rays. We also have electric strip heaters to provide hot water for bathing or enjoying hot drinks. Naturally, I've made a few of my own home improvements. First, I replaced our aging furnace with an Energy Star approved furnace. I keep my home thermostat set to 68 degrees in the winter and found that saves both energy and money. 
But what about when it's hot outside? In space, astronauts use heat exchangers to move the heat from inside the spacecraft to radiators outside. This way, the inside of the spacecraft is kept at about 70 degrees, while the extreme temperatures outside go unnoticed. On Earth, I use an energy efficient air conditioner during summer months. But just adding a few shade trees around a home can also keep a lot of the heat out. And Venetian blinds or other window coverings work to deflect the sun's rays, which lower a home's internal temperature. Another simple adjustment is changing your thermostat from winter to summer mode. I set mine to 78 degrees when I'm home and 85 degrees when I'm out of town, sometimes way out of town. Can you see me now? Something else astronauts can't take for granted, lights. Here on Orion, we use LEDs because they're so well made, they will last 100,000 hours. You know, updating your old light bulbs to compact fluorescent bulbs will use less energy in your world, too. Just like in space, it's all about using the resources we have wisely, especially for things like insulation. Engineers know effective insulation and in seals and space vehicles are life-saving. And just like your home or the building where you work, most of a spacecraft's heat loss occurs at the windows. When was the last time you really inspected your windows and doors? If your home or building is more than five years old, it's time to check and see if weather stripping or a little caulk can seal up any leaks. The simple laws of physics come into play with so much of our energy use. For astronauts, insulation is essential, and that's why I put it to work for me at home, too. The right insulation helps us save on our overall energy bill, just like it will yours. It just takes a few minutes to see if you need to add or update the insulation where you are. And using less gives you more. So take advantage of the many rebates available to you to upgrade to energy efficient appliances. Conserving energy comes down to four simple things. Heating, cooling, insulation, and lighting. We have the knowledge, but we also have the responsibility to never take our resources for granted. So I ask you to join us and do two things. First, look at all the ways you can become energy efficient. And second, be a mentor by encouraging kids to study science, math, and technology. Just imagine what new technologies our future engineers and scientists will bring us tomorrow. As you've just seen, Energy is extremely important in all of our lives. Understanding it, learning more about it, and conserving it is exactly what brought Apollo 13 safely back to Earth. Because even more so today, failure is not an option. To learn more about energy saving programs, tips, and how you can help the environment, visit responsiblebynature.com or call XL Energy at 1-800-895-4999.